What's up, people at home? Um, if you would, pause the video and copy down this opening slide. All right, so pretty much half of the unit is being able to differentiate between ionics and covalent traits. Um, we're going to throw metals in there as well. You probably noticed, for those of y'all that have been working on Canvas, that um, there was a couple metallic bonding questions that you might have had to flip through your packet to find the answer of. I'm going to address metallics very briefly tomorrow, um, so I'm not ignoring it, uh, but I ran out of time the first lecture, so I will talk about metallic bonding tomorrow. The other main skill that I need you to be able to do is to draw molecules. So you'll see that it mentions molecules up there, which are inherently what type of bond? Covalent. All right, that should be automatic. All right, ionics are crystals, molecules are covalents. Um, so start having it be second nature. So the skill that we're going to be focusing on today and tomorrow, if you look at the roadmap, um, is called valence shell electron pair repulsion, and it's the way that we draw covalent. All right, so we're not drawing ionics, all right? Ionics were just that lattice structure. I drew that box where each little um, point of the box was a cation or an anion. Um, we don't draw ionics or focus on that, but we go deep into drawing molecules. And um, it takes practice to get good at this skill. So focus in on what's going to be happening. Um, the way that we know that molecules look the way that we're about to draw them on the whiteboard is based on the idea that electrons hate each other. All right, we know that electrons have negative charges. Therefore, if you try to put two electrons near each other, they push away. And since we know that any one electron will want to get as far away from an electron as he can before he starts getting close to another one, we can predict shapes. And once you know shapes, you can predict angles. And that does come with a little bit of memorization that you're going to have to do for me. In your packet, I want you to look at the very front page, the very front of your packet. <coughs> Hopefully if you're at home, you have the packet, we're looking at this page. We're at the very front of the packet has a bunch of letters listed about Lewis structures. Um, it also talks about formal charge, but we're going to do that after Christmas. Remember, this packet also covers um, the first topics that we're doing when the second semester starts. You're going to want to have that handy because the first section there that goes letters A through F is what we're doing today. So whenever I'm doing something, if there's a moment where you're like, wait, wait, why did you do this and then that? It's listed there for you very clearly. You don't get that on the exam. You need to be good at drawing molecules. But um, it's a good crutch to look at while you're figuring this out. Um, so a few things that this slide also says. Anytime we have two dots that are free floating, that'll be a lone pair. You don't really have to copy this. You kind of already did. Um, anytime you have a line, it represents a bond. So you'll notice I have two lines there, so that would be a double bond. What do you think would represent a triple bond? Three lines, right? Mind. But every single line represents two shared electrons, which is why my double bond here, I just chose double bond out of the single, double, triple options. Um, a double bond would be four shared electrons because every line represents two. 